It doesn't. To all my haters, I love you. Falcons have agreed to terms with Marcus Mariota on a two year deal. Send me the tweet. Okay. Do, do, do they have the terms? Uh, Mar- it just broke, so I'm not. Mariota is officially yet. a Falcon, everybody. It's official. Welcome, a Mal- Mal- Malcolm, a Marcus Mariota to the Falcons. It's in live agenda. Uh, it has just been made official. We have this information right here. Tom Pelissero is reporting that uh, Mariota is officially a Falcon. Let me pull this up for you guys right now. Falcons, they have traded Matt Ryan to the Colts. We know that happened just the other day. The Falcons, or just just Today. the other hour, the other yeah. hour. Yeah. Hey, Falcons trading QB Matt Ryan to the Colts for a third round pick. And that, like to me, third round pick for Matt Ryan, who everybody used to always label a top 10 quarterback in a lot of QB rankings. People would even put this guy above Derek Carr, which I don't think is exactly fair, right? But hey, this is pretty, this is pretty intense. Looks like uh, the Colts are going to try to compete one year with uh, another aging quarterback. They had a Phillip Rivers. Uh, then they took some time with Carson Wentz, who isn't aging. And then, boom, go ahead, and now they have Matt Ryan. So what I'm most excited about is our guy, the flying Hawaiian, heading through and going to Atlanta. Yes, I like this because I could root for Mariota without it having any negative impact on the Raiders, right? Unless they play each other, which they probably won't play each other for a little bit. But, I mean, that's what I like. That's what I like. I could freaking cheer on the Flying Hawaiian, and I love that Mariota is expect, the, expected to join the Falcons. The Falcons are heavily pursuing him. And from what I know and, for, and seeing interviews of Mariota, you know, he's been saying he just wants an opportunity somewhere, and he's kind of been like, it, it seems kind of like a little like worried, you know? Like he wants a starting job, and he, and, he, and he wants to compete, and he wants an opportunity because, look, he did well in that Chargers game in, in 2020. Like, a lot of teams saw that and thought, damn, like, can he do that every week healthy? Can he? He'll get his shot, it looks like, in Atlanta. And so I'm really stoked to see what happens with him there. So I'm really – I'm kind of glad that they they ship Matt Ryan to the Colts because I don't think the Colts are going to be much better with Matt Ryan. And now the Falcons get Mariota. And it just reminds me of Vic. It reminds me of Vic. You know, you're going to have that mobile QB, that dual threat. It'll it'll remind a lot of people, like, of Vic. It's interesting. I don't know where uh, Baker's going to go. Where do you think he's going? You think Seahawks? I don't know, though. They're, I've heard some talk about, but I don't know. I don't Dude, know. I've heard it some doesn't talk. seem like many people want him. People, I've heard people saying that, like, in the Browns organization, they feel like Baker needs to be humbled and just straight up released. Whoa. Like, like, they, like, they, like they, they actually feel like they might be doing him a favor. Yeah. By releasing him to be like, wake the F up, dude. Like, yeah. You can't, just because you're drafted this high. You can't act like you run the show unless you back it up on the field 100%, you know? Oh, and I think well. he's a good quarterback. Like, I don't yeah. think he's a bad quarterback, right? He's a starting quarterback in the NFL, but if you're going to have an attitude problem and you're not hella you killing play it, like that, yeah. I mean, look at all the shit that Carr takes, and he actually kills it sometimes. You know what I mean? Like, Yeah, I mean, wouldn't that be nice if you were uh, high up uh, in the draft, you are picked early on, you know, maybe, you know, super early, and uh, – you know, you just can rest on your laurels and chill and just be like, oh, I've made it. I'm like a rock star. It's like, no, that's just the beginning. That's just the beginning. Are you going to be a bust? You know? So to like get a huge ego then is like, yeah, slow your old dude. And especially with the last uh, couple of years, what's happened with it. I mean, after I saw OBJ balling out on the Rams, I was like, oh, that was all Baker's fault. Like he was, he was all all to blame. And I'm sorry, but maybe there's more to the story there, but like, it really does look like that to a lot of people. And you, you you know, you got to face reality, man. Um, but yeah, humbling him, maybe that's, maybe that's the route they take. I don't know.